Hi guys and welcome to Returnal. So, fun fact, before the developers shipped Returnal, they sort of forgot to disable their dev codes. And this was picked up on by YouTuber The Randomizer. I'm going to put his video in the top right there, link in the description, definitely worth checking that out. But what he spotted is, you can plug in your keyboard and you can use a few quick dev codes to spawn some weapons and one or two other things as well, but we'll focus on spawning weapons for now. So what you'll need is a keyboard. That's it. Any old keyboard, plug it into your PlayStation. And then what you want to do is hold down Control Alt and Shift, and then use the number keys one through zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Each one is assigned a different weapon. So if I hold Control Shift Alt and I hit zero, a weapon pops up. If I don't like what's dropped, I'll just keep spawning it until I get the one with the, like this one is Void Beam, for example. This one is um, Tracker Swarm. I like Tracker Swarm. So I'll keep spawning the same gun until I get what I want. That's quite handy. If you're starting off on a new run and you don't want to start off with the pistol, you want to start off with the gun you want, this is what you do. The gun will drop at your proficiency. I'm proficiency zero right now. So the gun is going to drop at zero. But as I continue to play, if I get up to say proficiency five and I start dropping these weapons again, they all drop at proficiency five. So that's handy and certainly something you're already trying to picture the different things you can do with this, right? I am. It's absolutely fantastic. It's certainly going to be patched soon. So if this is something you want to play around with, I would suggest disabling auto updates at least for now. You should already have them disabled anyway if you're playing this game because Otherwise, they tend to ruin any run that you were on when you put your PlayStation in rest mode. I'll give a shout out as well to Jay, the average gamer who posted this on Reddit and where it initially got my attention. I'm absolutely in love with this. And there's a second thing I'm going to show you. This is just the two things I'm most interested in that I think are the most useful. There are, of course, one or two other things you can play around with, but I'm in agreement with the Reddit post that, that these two are primary. So there's the ability to drop the weapons, which is absolutely fantastic. As we progress, instead of looking around for that weapon that I really want at this new proficiency level, I can just drop it. And if I'm not happy with the stats it drops with, I'll just drop it again and again, and so be it. So the second thing, I'm just gonna pick up this parasite here, just to demo exactly what I'm talking about. Now, on my keyboard, if I hold down control and shift and then tap the number four, you will wipe. For the most part, you're going to wipe, or at least it appears that you've wiped. Okay, so you're going back around in this loop again. You'll wake up in the crash. Everything has been reset, but not everything. You keep everything that you had so far. So currency, parasites, everything, um, artifacts, everything you had stays with you when you force a wipe using control shift and four. And that in itself, when you think about it, is really, really handy. And let me walk you through why that might be handy. So what well, I'm just gonna show you here now, hang on. So you can already see my health is kind of down a bit. There's my parasite, I still have some currency. And if we just run out here, you'll see that this is a whole different run. It's not what was, what was there before. So everything is reset, but I keep what I had. So why is this useful? So imagine you, you run through biome one and you get yourself a, a nice bit of currency there and you head to the, I'm gonna call it the currency shop. I don't know what they're called to unlock some of the upgrades. So you, you choose the, the astronaut, you choose to increase your integrity by 25%. You, you get as much as you can, right? Then reset it and you come right back at the ship. It's all reset again, but you have everything. Work through the biome again, go back to the shop, unlock some more stuff. Keep building up and out your character that way, while at the same time, keep working on your integrity. The integrity keeps going up on the gun, just drop a new gun. Next level of integrity, drop it again. And you can keep enhancing your character this way over and over and over. In fact, one other thing I thought of is it could be an emergency escape in terms of um, any of the bosses in biome modes, biomes one through three. If you really think you're gonna die, control shift four, boom. You're back at your ship, only you have everything. How bad? So you can sleep up in the ship, head off out, and uh, continue on your merry way. Now the Reddit post also highlights, and rightfully so, that if you're in biome four or after, although your ship moves to biome four, is my understanding, 
If you use Control, Shift, and 4 on the keyboard, you will end up in biome 1 again. So that's something to be aware of. You're going to have to make your way back to biome 4. Now, if you've already completed the game, my understanding is this isn't an issue. Um, something to do with your cargo bay or something. I can't say because I haven't beaten the game yet. But if you haven't beaten the game, you've worked your way beyond biome 4, you really don't want to be respawning back on your ship unless it is a big emergency, um, such as maybe escaping death. That's the only thing I can really think of. Anyway, hopefully you found this video some bit useful so hopefully you get something out of it please do check out the links in the description below one is going to the original reddit post the other to the original video definitely worth checking both out if you like the video please do take a moment to hit the like button and like the video well a small act to you it means the world to the channel if you're not already subscribed consider a subscription and until next time take it easy all the best